conservative new media sports fans, we saw a real smackdown tonight on NBC's Sunday Night Football. At Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the Philadelphia Eagles absolutely mauled their NFC East rivals, the Dallas Cowboys. The final score of the game was 34-7 for the Eagles. This game was never competitive. In fact, it reminded me of a game we reported on earlier in the day between the Detroit Lions and the Denver Broncos. One team was firing on all cylinders. The other team looked like they never even showed up at the stadium. The Eagles scored the first 34 points of the game before the Cowboys added a meaningless touchdown in the fourth quarter when the contest had long since been over. We'll include some links on the game in the video description below the video player as soon as they become available. Philly was led by the outstanding play of both quarterback Michael Vick and running back LaShawn McCoy. Vick finished 21 of 28 passing for 279 yards, two touchdowns, and no interceptions. His quarterback rating was an amazing 129.9 for the night. McCoy rushed for 185 yards on 30 carries. He had two rushing touchdowns on the evening. The Cowboys got an uneven performance from quarterback Tony Romo. Romo was 18 of 35 for 203 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. His quarterback rating was 66.7. Both teams are now 3-4 and four and tied for second place in the NFC East behind the New York Giants. Philadelphia desperately needed this victory to get back into the playoff hunt, and their play demonstrated that urgency. Dallas continues on their up-and-down roller coaster of a season. The Cowboys will face the Seattle Seahawks in Texas next weekend, while the Eagles will square off against the visiting Chicago Bears next Monday night. Reporting for Conservative New Media, this is Paul F. Villarreal.